Hey beauty cats, it's Jessica here at Jessica's Medi Spa. Today we're going to talk with Kerry uh, about her experience of our services um, and we're going to talk a little bit about adult acne. Um, hi, I'm Kerry. I'm 49 years old and I'm a registered nurse. What brought you to us in the first place? Uh, uh, droopiness here, some sagging, um, my pores were enlarged mm -hmm. um, and acne mm. <laughs> through here. Through the T mm -hmm. zone. Mm -hmm. Anything kind of here? A little bit along here, not, yeah. as, not as much as here. And have you always suffered acne? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay, what were the different treatments that you'd had? Um, not much, just um, mainly over-the-counter type stuff that you could uh, buy or at the supermarket type stuff, nothing... Uh, so topical creams, cleansers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. No medication. No anything. medication. Mm -hmm. And did it clear as you became an adult? Uh, I, I, yeah, it did. It, it did. did. Okay. Yeah. But it always stuck around just that little bit? Always, always. Okay. And it's, it's actually changed over the years. I used to get it more probably here for a little while in my 20s, but then really now it's here. And that's probably been like that for a good... 10, 10 years. Because this is more of a hormonal yes. zone, isn't mm, it? Yeah, mm. here particularly. Mm -hmm. So uh, we did a course of four stage facelifting mm -hmm. treatments mm -hmm. uh, with Kerry. We really wanted that lift mm -hmm. and bulk, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, and we included some very light micro needling at the end of those treatments. Um, <laughs> Kerry's pretty brave. Uh, so her low grade micro needling treatments weren't so low grade, were they? <laughs> we could really take the time. Uh, to resurface the skin. So when done with a microneedling pen, uh, our very light microneedling treatments would be better described as quite an intensive microdermabrasion treatment. But with Kerry, we were absolutely able to get that fine mist of blood, basically, and work to resurface the outer layer. Now, did that help with the acne all by itself? That helped immensely. Okay. That was probably the best thing ever. Yeah. That really took a lot of this away. Probably, I just get a couple now. I used to probably wake up every day with 10 on my nose. That sucks. It really does. Particularly on your nose, because mm. you just feel like it's a little beaker. Like, <laughs> it's awful. Check out the zit. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, but now, now I'm yeah, maybe make up with one. Much better. Maybe, yeah. So we went an extra step at the end of Kerry's four stage facelifting treatments and we did two intensive microneedling treatments. Yeah. How did you find those? Because the pictures are pretty scary. The pictures are scary and I've shown my friends and they're horrified. <laughs> but the, the result is amazing. It's my skin is so much clearer, my pores are so much more refined, my my skin is just brighter. Yeah. It's and the the acne is much less. Much, much, much less. So would you say the low-grade microneedling treatments started to Correct. really clear it? Yes. But we had to go deeper, didn't we, mm -hmm. to really clear that underlying yeah. infection? And initially it made it a bit worse. Yep, so you had a breakout? I did. Yep. But, but after that, much, much better. How did you find the healing? Uh, the healing actually wasn't too bad. Itchiness was probably the, the, the worst, worst thing. But even that wasn't so bad. It lasted maybe a day. Yeah. Or two maybe. And did it feel really tight and dry? Uh, only a little bit. A little okay. bit. Just the itching was probably the worst. And what did you take for that? Did you take an antihistamine? Uh, yeah, and the cream that you gave me to put on the... Um, yeah, the antiseptic with antiseptic. the numbing agent. Yes. That really helped. That really helped, yeah. We also set uh, Carrie up with a pure hyaluronic acid serum and you found, because a lot of the time when the skin gets so dry and tight through healing, I personally find it really good to, mm -hmm. to moisturise, but you mentioned that there was a bit too much moisture going on. A bit on. too much moisture then, yeah, so I had to step, not use that, step that back and actually, actually I put nothing on for a little bit, or I used some Cetaphil. Yeah. Um, oh, that's great, isn't it? It's yes. just soothing. It is good. Yeah, yeah QV and Cetaphil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're currently working through a package of Venus Fever, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We are. How are you finding that compared to the microneedling? Oh, uh, well, I, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy because it's, it's, we're not doing the really deep one yet. Yeah. But, but just the one that you're doing is uh, great. The low grade. The low grade. It's really easy and yeah. it's fine. I'm red for not even 24 hours. Yep. And then it's, I and can then just go, on. go about my normal life. So we've done one of those? Two. So we've done two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're slowly stepping up the intensity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have you noticed any relief with the Venus fever? Oh, yes. 
Yep. Yes. So it's kind of acting like the micro-needling is? I think it is, yeah. Okay, yeah. because that's a powerful exfoliation yeah, treatment. Yeah, it actually is. I noticed more of these ones. I haven't had any acne actually here for, oh, weeks. Right. Did, did you have a little bit of a breakout going on there when you came back to me? Uh, just ju that's just my initial, like with the acne, that's where, it, but I still got it here, even though it could gone from my nose, I still got it a little bit here, Yeah. but I haven't had that since the first one of those Venus Fever. Fabulous. Brilliant. <laughs> so the reason we're playing with uh, the Venus Fever and the micro needling for Kerry mm. is sometimes the Venus Fever will do the trick. But venous fever therapy uh, is an advanced form of radio frequency which rebuilds whilst also providing a really intensive exfoliating treatment. Now that's fantastic uh, and we didn't reach for that with Kerry because first off microneedling's cheaper. Um, not that I think that was a concern for you, you would have just taken me, <laughs> just I do anything to me Jess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I, I have found with acne that's really stubborn and keeps coming through that sometimes that good old-fashioned microneedling going really intensely and just basically uh, for want of a better word tearing up mm -hmm. that those outer layers and bringing up the infection and yeah. you suffered a breakout and other clients have suffered a breakout mm -hmm. uh, whilst all that crap is coming out of the skin really just clears it yeah it's so good. And then sticking with the Venus Viva mm -hmm. for not only resurfacing but rebuilding. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we've got the $230 Venus Vivas so and mm -hmm. we can push it with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can just stay on top of it. Yeah. But focus more on continuing to lift and perfect. And the acne going away is just yeah. a nice side benefit. It's a great benefit. It's a great benefit. <laughs> uh, the best thing about all of these treatments that I've been having is that I happily now go makeup free even to work. Uh, it's liberating actually to be able to go makeup free. Yeah, you just forget about makeup, get out the door faster. Correct. Have you always worn makeup? Always. Yep. Every single Would day. Would never dream of going out without makeup? Never. Never. And now you do? Yes, I do. <laughs> so that's a big difference. That's very liberating. It is. Acne sucks. It really does. We don't want fine lines, wrinkles, sagging, and bloody acne, do None we? Of them. <laughs> no, they can all bugger off. Yeah, they can. <laughs> what's what's it like being a Jessica Cat Beauty Cat? It's great. It's fabulous. My skin is terrific and I love it. We love that. <laughs> We're going to give a big row for okay, a sign off. Ready? Row! <laughs> oh, you're so much better at it than me. Do you want to give it another go? No.